Hello, it's Lisa Stade here on YouTube. Uh, welcome back, uh, YouTube here. Uh, to Lisa Stade, the YouTube channel of Lisa Stade and Hitler Obsessed. Now I'm gonna talk to you about part two of the movie, of the 1997 movie by Martin Scorsese of, uh, Kunden. So last time we left off was where Tianjin Gato was with the caravan of monks going back to the Portugal Palace, but before then, they meet up at a rest stop where they pitch their tents and call and call it for a night to go to sleep, and they meet up with their Vettine Rinpoche. And there's a scene of him uh, getting dressed in his monk's robes, you know, after removing his uh, uh, governmental official robes as a Vettine. The, uh, pretty much the prime minister or whatever, or the, uh, like what the Daredevil Emperor CG would be for the, uh, the Qing dynasty there of the emperors when they were younger, you know, they were protector or whatever, you know. Uh, so that, uh, so they have a scene of him and he's about to meet the, uh, 14th. Dalai Lama of Tianjin Gyalto, but there's a scene first of Tianjin Gyalto's running around the tent there, uh, because they're about to shave his head to prepare him for becoming a monk, you know, becoming ordained as the 14th Dalai Lama of his life as a Buddhist monk, living in the Apostle Palace, studying the Buddhist uh, sutras and rituals and practices uh, of Tibetan Buddhism, uh, Lamaism, which is Tibetan Buddhism. Which is called Lamaism, uh, that's also part of the, I think, the Mahayana Buddhism or Hinayana Buddhism of there. So, uh, they have, uh, so he's running around because he's scared to get his haircut, you know, like it's a poor kid at, you know, very young age. Uh, but then they have, then he ends up, uh, running into the room with betting room for change. And he's telling him, uh, Betty Ripley tells, uh, Tianjin Gato, I saw you in a dream. And he's telling about how he saw the kid in, in the vision at, uh, one of Tibet's, uh, four, uh, important lakes there. There are four, uh, holy lakes in Tibet. I don't know the names of them. Uh, but one of them is connected to, uh, the deity Molokola, which is Shiva. I think that might have been the one there, uh, but uh, yet again, I don't remember if that was the specific specific one there that uh, Virgin Rinpoche saw his vision at. And then they go to the next scene, which is the coronation of the Dalai Lama announced everyone at a public outdoor gathering. There's a canopy and everything, no. Tianjin Gyatso is led to the uh, throne that he will sit on, which is, I guess, the lion throne or whatever. It's kind of like China's dragon throne, but this is the the uh, throne for the Dalai Lamas. And they bring out different ceremonial objects from the hold and pass on those coronation ceremony. And then one of the high lamas there announces that, you know, the 14th Dalai Lama. And everyone bows down and is praying and making prostrations there to uh, the 14th Dalai Lama for, uh, to hopefully get uh, Tibetan Buddhism, which is good merit, which is good karma for the future lives. You know, if they follow the good the precepts of being a Buddhist and uh, do things that increase the good karma, they can outweigh bad karma from past lives to get hopefully to be born in a better life uh, and reach the goal of Buddhahood or if they want to go to never reach Buddhahood uh, and escape from the regular world of suffering which in Buddhism is called the wheel of samsara uh, they can opt for becoming forever reincarnated for the benefit of other living beings uh, with the giving them compassion and relieving them of their suffering because the goal of Buddhism is to relieve others of suffering uh, through the middle way and eightfold path. There, uh, 
as bodhisattvas, which all means that renounce Buddhahood, renounce the option to become Buddhas, and decide to forever be reincarnated to give compassion and relieve the suffering of other living beings for other living beings to uh, reach Buddhahood, or the chance to become maybe more bodhisattvas. So, so. <coughs> So that's what the, that's another thing there that they a bit of a thing there that they a little bit of history backstory there to that to that scene there, and then there's the footage there's a, a scene of his parents in the audience of gathering of people which they are even Tibetans in Western clothing that are holding the prayer scarves called Fultons I think is it. Uh, they're like these white shawls that are given as offerings to other people and friends or whatever, or by important figures or left on uh, at the statues of uh, the Buddhas or the Bodhisattvas in the Tibetan temples or monasteries, they are shrines, uh, or the stupas, which are the shrines in Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, that hold the remains of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas or different relics or important uh, pieces of the Buddha's body, which is Siddhartha Gautama, all important sutras there to for people to go, you know, walk around and circumambulate and gain you know, more good merit for the future lives there, and pray on focusing on these the life and the teachings of that one specific you now Buddha or Bodhisattva or important monk there. Uh, so they have footage, uh, see a clip or scene of the the mother and father of the body sod of the 14th Dalai Lama attending Gyatso, and they're now dressed not in the typical uh, Tibetan, you know, peasant farmer's clothing, but in the clothing that is more of the higher upper noble class there in Tibet, which is nice, beautiful silk, silk that are bordered, you know. That you know the upper classes would traditionally wear on maybe some on occasions or everyday lives uh, of the uh, aristocrats and the noble, which are pretty much the end up getting a palace, estates, their land, property. Because now they're part of the aristocrat families because they are part of the uh, pretty much gave the 14th Dalai Lama. So they they were once farmers, the, the lower classes, and now they're pretty much of the upper class from, you know, bringing in a 14th Dalai Lama into the world. And also with the 14th Dalai Lama, his little thing there, uh, one of, I think it's the brother of the 14th Dalai Lama that sends in Gato. his uh, brother is the Pension Lama, which is another important uh, Dalai Lama, which he is the of the Tibetan Buddhist uh, Lamaism version of the Red Hats, or the 14th Dalai Lamas of the Yellow Hats, or the Galuka branch of Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, interesting history there, if you want to read into that, I suggest an uh, introduction to Tibetan Buddhism again, or you know any other reading on Tibetan Buddhism or the Dalai Lama if you want to. Uh, so they have uh, yeah, so Tianjin Gatu ended up, uh, you know, having his family was become upper class citizens. So next scene is of, you know, the caravan is all being led to the Patsalo Palace, and he's being brought forth to the one of the throne rooms and being told the history of the other Dalai Lamas by another guy, which is named uh, Pumbo which is one of the high, I guess, high-ranking lamas in the Potsdam Palace, who later on takes Retting Rinpoche's place uh, because he ran away after trying to kill the Dalai Lama, but instead killing his son. Not, uh, not his son. Uh, the, I think it's the older brother of the Dalai Lama, which is his biological brother, who is also a monk and was staying in the Potsdam Palace. Uh, bit of detail get into that later on in a future video here of Halloween party. But so uh Wim uh Pumbo, which is the high ranking Lama, tells the fourteenth Dalai Lama, you know, uh, his history 
have the four, the other thirteen Dalai Lamas from he starts with the fifth Dalai Lama and then goes to the seventh Dalai Lama and then brings out a black and white photograph that's framed of the thirteenth Dalai Lama. And he also has this chest that's brought out that holds the governmental seal that the Dalai Lama will have power uh, to place on documents of uh, governmental approval. You know, it's kind of like having a bill passed. So this was the stamp, the signet of, uh, I guess, the Dalai Lama. You know, like in monarchies, you'd have the signet of the king and you would, the king would put his uh, signet ring or his little stamp there to say, the king approves of uh, this is going to be ordained by the king. It's like a presidential uh, executive order. So. A stamp of approval. No. So you have uh, the next scene is of the 14th Dalai Lama is going to um, meditation since a lot of the monks do a lot of meditation uh, in Buddhism. Uh, it's encouraged that by the monks because that is a way to gain, hopefully, in their life, in the current life, or in the future life, Buddhahood, which is the final goal to reach Nirvana and escape the real suffering of Samsara. Uh, so, uh, Tianjin Gao, so it's kind of like most kids, I guess, when you sit still, you, he wants to fidget. You know, he's watching also and being distracted by a little mouse that's drinking some of the water offerings uh, out of the uh, altar that they'll meditate in front of, of a Buddha, uh, a statue, which is a famous one in one of the other uh, important buildings. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it's the big important monastery that uh, has a large statue I remember seeing on another documentary. I can't remember what the name of it, uh, but I recognize the face of it. But this thing was like, I guess, from the building, the monastery. It's actually a monastery there. Uh, that the Dalai Lama. And several other monks in Fadlal Palace were meditating in front of it's on a, like a multi story area. So, this was the area of, that you could see the face of this huge, tall Buddha, which I guess is of uh, Suhasa uh, Gutentama Buddha, which is pretty much the Buddha, or in Buddhism they refer to him as Lord Buddha, uh, title of respect. Uh, or they call him the Tathagatha Buddha because there was the Maitreya Buddha, which is the uh, Amitabha Buddha there. It comes later on in uh, some branches of Buddhism also. It's the future Buddha, which is kind of like the second coming of Jesus Christ. I will want to make a video on that one sometime in the future. So he's watching, uh, so Jansen Gautso, the 14th Dalai Lama's watching a little mouse drinking some water off you and know, laughing you know, like a little typical kid and right now i will cut and start in video two and the next video will be about video uh part three of this of you of kundan uh lisa stayed here saying to you all uh leave a comment like and subscribe Hit the bell notification. Uh, you can donate to my Patreon and my subscribe stall. Uh, leave a comment on this video, on my channel, or any other videos. Uh, share any of my videos and this video too. You can send me a friend request on Facebook or leave a comment on Facebook for me to listen to. I will make sure to have time available. Uh, when I have time available to reply to your comments. Uh, and, uh, you know... You can see my BitChute channel of Lisa Marie State. That's one word on BitChute.com. So, I'm seeing my other videos. Uh, just avoid all the other, other crazy stuff on uh, BitChute. Only go to my channel. That's probably the only safest one to go to right now on BitChute. Uh, because all the other stuff is weird stuff that probably could get me demonetized right now on YouTube. Of uh, other people's channels. So, uh, bye now. I'll do part three next time, yo. Yeah?